What's going on there, friends? My name is M238, and so welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D for the Nintendo 3DS. We're all up last time. We, um, got really, really good at bomb chew bowling, and then also got a few goodies around now that we have bombs, and then now in this part, we're going to head off to our next area, um, and, uh, to go about with our next area, well, we're gonna go there, but before we do that, um, I, I, I do, while I'm, while I am here in Kokiri Forest and it's nighttime, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, grab this gold skull toad that I wasn't able to get the first time that I was here. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And if we are good... We should be on track for 22 gold skulls at this point, for anybody who's following along, along here. Um, okay, so with that, uh, I will meet you guys back to where we're supposed to go. Alright, welcome back everybody. Uh, we are right by the castle and also right by Kakrigo Village. And now the next place that we're going to go to is right over here. A um, little bit... Um, this is on the. This is right. This is of course right by Kakarot Village, and so we are going to head this way to a brand new area that we have not been to yet. Well, I figured that uh, we will have to go to new areas in order to get in order to make more progression, because that's just generally how it works here. All right, uh, let's see what we got going on here. We got some stuff. That we're going to go ahead and pick up right here. Oh yeah, so these are so these are magic jars, which are the drops here in order to fill up your magic. Now that we have a magic meter. Hello, sir. Looks like you've gotten bigger and stronger already. Yeah, you said that in the last part. Just ahead lies Zora's domain. The Zoras safe serve Hyrule's royal family by protecting this water source. Their door will not open for anyone except those who have some connection with the royal family. Let them hear the melody of the royal family. Okay. So that's a little uh, something something as to what you're supposed to do in order to um, enter the place because you know it kind of makes sense. You don't wanna you don't wanna just let any random person go into your home, right? I mean, it, I mean it has to make sense. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and blow up these rocks over here. You don't have to, but um. Now these rocks, I believe they stay permanently gone, um, and so, um, uh, now we can have access here. Alright, so let's see, I believe this soil right here, if I'm remembering things correctly, this is the only soil that does not contain a gold skull to us. I may or may not be right, right or wrong about that. We'll, we'll uh... I have to I have to look into it later to figure out if I'm right or wrong. That was really close right there. I almost got hit. Uh, but um, all right. So we have this chicken. We don't need this cucko. I just call it two different things. I'm contradicting what what, what I'm actually supposed to be calling it, but it's a cucko. But um, we we don't actually need this cucko for anything really. But um, oh my god. All right. Uh, let let's go. You're actually supposed to get this heart piece a different way, but. If I can get it now, I'm going to get it now. Um, okay, that's unfortunate. So, it looks like you are... Where are you going to go? Okay, you go up there. Alright. Uh, let me see if I can do this. Okay, make that. Alright, cool. And then make this. Yes, alright, good. Alright. This saves me from having to do a bunch of unnecessary backtracking. Because I don't want to do some backtracking. Uh, make that. Alright, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Alright. Uh, but, um... Alright, so, let's see. Um... And then head up this way. Yeah, you're supposed to go, like, a roundabout in order to get that heart piece. Like, you're actually supposed to go right over here, right there, climb up that ladder, and then use... And then there's a chicken up there. A cuckoo up there that you use in order to, um... Uh, get to the harpies from there, and it's a lot easier, but, um, uh, that was a little, but dude, getting that harpies the way I just got it was something that I actually just learned, so we're gonna do things that way, and, uh, but I'm still gonna bring this cuckoo with me, because 
Uh, we are going to go ahead and and see this heart piece right here. I'm gonna go ahead and get over there. All right, awesome. Um, you're actually supposed to wait. Uh, you're actually supposed to wait until before until just a little bit later in order to get that heart piece. But we're going to get that heart piece now. All right, so it is it is now turn uh, uh, daytime. But I don't want it to be daytime. That's kind of boring. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, this is actually something pretty funny right here. Watch this. The gold sculptor just appears, and it's pretty funny that it happens that, that way. No! Come on! How did I let that happen? Oh! Okay, okay, okay. I tried to be fancy, but I, I guess we're not, well, I guess I'm just not allowed to be fancy. All right, that's 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 actually really, 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 really unfortunate. Wow, I'm actually pretty disappointed about that. I, uh, but. Oh well. Uh, that almost that, that almost sounded like I was playing that in, in some type of rock band or something like that. Da 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 da. But um, yeah. So we can actually uh, play this. There, there is in in the original version, you can actually go inside this place without having to play Zelda's lullaby, and that is by doing a very precise jump. Uh, from this particular angle right here, um, but they patched that this time. They got really smart with with their sequence breaks in this in this remake. Well, they did that, and then they also made new sequence breaks because Grezzo is a really good game developer. All right, so welcome to Zora's Domain. This is a really pretty looking area. Um, in fact, even prettier in Twilight Princess. I may or may not be super biased about uh, when it comes to saying that. Uh, but um, the first thing of interest is we want to go over here and talk to you. A diving game for 20 rupees. Oh my god. Pick up all the rupees I threw from here. You only have a limited amount of time. All right. All right, so he's gonna throw down all the rupees. And if I do this right, yeah, there we go. You can actually get a rupee. If you if you aim, if you aim it just right, you can actually get a rupee um, right on your first dive uh, from the top. And that's a free rupee right off the bat, and it saves quite a lot of time because swimming's pretty slow. So yeah, um, you can actually- oh wow. Yeah, sometimes if you're really good, you can get two rupees with just one dive. And so you save a pretty huge amount of time. Because swimming's pretty slow, you only have 50 seconds, and yeah, that's not a very- Well, it's, it's, it's not hard, but- if you're if you miss if you miss a dive then that can be very punishing. It's it's that slow. I'm not I'm not joking. Um but um anyway, so we won the minigame and we actually have and we unfortunately have to make have to work our way up. So we have to go and climb our way back up. It doesn't take that long to get back up, which is fine, but also it still kinda sucks. What a graceful dive. So with that, we get a a very pretty looking item in this version, the silver scale. So what this item will allow you to do is you can dive for a longer period of time. Uh, and on top of that, you can also dive deeper into the water. So I believe we have a three second time limit. Now we have a, I believe what's a six second time limit to um, uh, get uh, to dive underwater, which uh, is which will actually come into play. Oh, uh, basically, almost immediately, pretty much. No, come on! Oh, I, I got this. Okay, I got. Uh, all right. If there was anything, if I had to blame it on something, um, it is the fact that I got thrown off by the layout of this place. Cause welcome to Master Quest. Okay, 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 okay. Um, wait, what? Did I? I hope I'm. I, I think I need to try this again because I feel like I just missed something, or maybe, or maybe, or maybe the 
first torch that I, li I light up is just right there. Okay. I guess, I guess, I guess the first torch is, I guess that is the first torch. Okay. Alright, let's go ahead and try this a third time here. And this time we actually know where all the torches are. Hopefully. You know, it's interesting, you're rolling in the water and then like the stick gets, gets uh, rolled into the water as well. And then, and then it, it, with the fire, and the fire just does not go out. You know, logic please. How does this happen? But anyway, do, doing that right there will allow you to get a very, very special item. And that is another piece of heart. Alright, great, because I need to refill on, on uh, hearts for that atrocious failure on trying to get a gold Skotula. Okay, um, so, um, back to the waterfall minigame, or the diving game, you can actually, it doesn't seem like it, but that diving game is actually a pretty nice way to get rupees. The first attempt, you always get five blue rupees, and it costs 20 to play the minigame, uh, and so we got a five rupee profit from winning that. However, uh, uh, in later attempts, when you actually go to try again, you can actually get higher um, rupee amounts from that diving game, um, which is actually something I learned a little recently. It's actually pretty cool um, because you can uh, get you, if you're really lucky, you can get a hundred. You can get a hundred rupees, which is essentially an eighty rupee profit in um for the diving game so it's a pretty good way it's one of the good ways of getting rupees in the game all right so we get an empty bottle but there's also something inside the bottle oh man you know when you see a when you see a a, a letter inside of a bottle that probably means it's a confession letter whoever finds the letter it means that it means that um, the person who wrote the letter is going to confess to the person who found the letter, because that's how that's how it always works. That means that somebody is confessing the link right now. So let's go ahead and read it, shall we? Because I'm because I am a I am very nosy. Help me! I'm waiting for you inside Lord Jabba Jabba's belly. And don't tell my father. Okay, that's suspicious. Alright, well, unfortunately it's not a confession letter, but... It is also a very suspicious letter. So, something's very fishy going on here. Ha ha ha! Get it? Get it? Ha 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 ha! I'm so funny! Alright, so we have an item shop here in Zora's Domain. We got a Zora tunic for a low price of 300 rupees. Oh my god, how could I ever afford this, really? Uh, so we got arrows, can't buy them. Got nuts, fish, and a red potion. Oh man. This shop is a little more useful than the shop in Goron City. I will say that. I will give it that. But not really anything that we could that we could that we could use, unfortunately. It's pretty much the case with a lot of shops in Zelda games. A lot of the shops in Zelda games, you don't really ever use them. All right, so the letter said, "Don't tell, don't 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 tell my father." Right? Well, what happens if we do? This letter, it's from Princess Ruto. Let's see, she's inside Lord Jabu Jabu? That's not possible. Well, what if it is possible? What if the impossible becomes possible? Since that stranger Ganondorf came here, Lord Jabu Jabu has been a little green around the gills. Okay, that's a little odd to, for, for Jabu Jabu to be like that. The evidence seems clear, of course. You'll, for, you'll go find Ruto. Do I have a choice though? Alright, so he'll take the letter, but also he lets us keep the bottle, so now we have a third bottle to work with. Which is great! Because having... It, it, it may not seem like it, but having more bottles in your inventory is actually a pretty good thing. Especially on this difficulty of the game. 
Seriously? Why am I... Wow. I could, um... I could, um, sleep for eight hours and you'd still be scooting over. I could sleep the entire night. That's how slow you would just move. Alright, um, so let's not go ahead of ourselves here, and we are going to go ahead and, and drop on down once again, now that, now that we have an empty bottle to work with, and we're going to go ahead and pick up uh, the, pick up a fish from the bot, from the bottle. Uh, so that's another thing that you, can, that you can pick up with your, with bottles in this game. And, um, most of the time it's not really that helpful, but... Let's go ahead and head on to the back, now that he has let us through. And you cannot actually talk to him from the side, which is a little odd that you can't, but we're going to see what happens if we go this way. Okay, welcome to Zora's Fountain, which is basically Zora's Domain's backyard. That's why I like to consider this place as. Because this is pretty much like the back entrance, and there's no other way of access accessing this place other than the back way of of um Zora's domain. And look, this is Lord Jabu Jabu. Oh boy. That's a little crazy. Alright, well. There's not really any... Well, there is somebody who tells you this, but, um... You go ahead and place a fish down. Oh, wow. Oh man, ladies and gentlemen, we are now inside Jabu Jabu. Whoever thought we would ever be inside Jabu Jabu. Alright. Well, in that case, that is going to be it for this episode of The Letters of the Ocarina of Time. And next time, we are going to be exploring the inside of Jabu Jabu and hopefully find uh, the Zora Princess. Ruto, because as mentioned in the letter, she's inside Lord Job Judge's belly. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next part. Goodbye.